I want to die. Okay, not really, but like a teeny bit. I'm Good morning. I have been up since 6.44 in the morning and I want to die. Okay, not really, but like a teeny bit. I'm fucking exhausted. I stayed up way too late reading. Anyways, I didn't even really do my intro. Hey, what's up? Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If I'm weird today, it's because I am delusional from sleep deprivation. <laughs> My toddler woke up at 6.44 this morning. Love that. I'm pretty sure it was the thunderstorms that woke her up. We're gonna do a little day in the life, productive day in the life as a stay-at-home mom. I just kinda wanna do this video to show you guys how I read, how I, you know, get shit done as a toddler mom because I do be reading a lot of books, but I don't have the time to be reading the books that I read, but I make the time if that makes sense. And plus it's a rainy day, so I just thought this would be a perfect day to attempt this. My house, I'm not even gonna front. My house is a fucking disaster okay i got laundry to put away dishes that need to be done i haven't done shit all weekend my boyfriend was home so i feel like whenever he's home i kind of lack because i'm just like spending time with everybody and enjoying having someone to lean on this is gonna be like a little sunday reset kind of video i'm so tired i know it's so cool wow so cool see yourself yeah so what I'm gonna tell myself is if you clean up the living room bitch we can go get Starbucks so let's go ahead and clean up my living room and then I'm gonna go get some coffee because I desperately desperately need coffee okay I'm not gonna fucking survive this day without it coffee god i look i look rough as fuck this is just real life okay this is the real me i'm gonna take you guys along with me but this is my first vlog so if i don't record me getting the coffee it's because i'm embarrassed <laughs> are you ready we're gonna go get cake pop cool cool I know, we're gonna go get some coffee. Look how small I look in my car. I'm hoping we will beat the rain while going to get this coffee because ain't nobody wanna get a kid out of a car seat in a fucking thunderstorm. Also, this morning's giving like straight summer vibes, but like rainy day summer vibes. Also gonna go cause my neighbor's outside. So let's go get some coffee. Pick up an order for Savannah. Savannah will see you at the window. Okay. Plenty hot white mocha, sorry. Did you need a straw? Uh, yes, please. Here's that. Thank you. The straw. And it was just three total, right? Yep, thank you. Have a good day. You too. Coffee is acquired. Also, my child is playing with her toys very nicely right now, so we're gonna try to get some dishes done, and I don't have a dishwasher, so I have to wash everything by hand, and that's like my least favorite fucking chore, so it's just fabulous. So what I like to do when I'm doing dishes or cleaning around the house is I always put on an audiobook, and I use this app called Scrib. I don't know if my camera will even pick up my phone. There we go. And it's like a monthly membership kind of thing. It's cheaper than Audible, that's why I use this one because audible just gives you like fucking credits and that I read too many books to get one credit a month so we're gonna find a book BRB while I look for a book <laughs> I'm gonna listen to secretly yours while I do the dishes because I've been wanting to read this book I love Tessa Bailey I know a lot of people don't like this book but I'm gonna give it a shot and see if I enjoy it I am reading a different book right now like a physical book so cleaning montage starts now
kitchen is spotless. The dishes are done indeed, and they just put a new Sensi in, so that's like top tier if you ask me. Now we gotta clean this whole mess right here, and we have some toys on the floor. I'm only on chapter four of Secretly Yours. I don't know how I feel. I can't really give you guys like a, I don't know. I can see why people don't like it, but like I'm only chapter four, so I don't even know how far that is. Not very far, bitch. Let's go ahead and clean the rest of this house so I can hopefully be done by nap time so I can just sit down and read. my hair we gotta do a lunch intermission i need to feed that little one back there so we're gonna do that real quick <sighs> i am so done cleaning <laughs> I feel like I've cleaned all day and the house is still a mess. Obviously I cleaned with the toddler, so shit's still, still a mess. I got the whole front of the house clean, my bedroom clean, her room, she went in there and was playing with her toys, so that needs clean. And the bathroom needs clean, but like I said, I'm fucking done cleaning and I just put her down for a nap like maybe 15 minutes ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and read, cause that's normally what I do. Secretly yours, I'm on chapter five? Seven, damn bitch, okay. Um, I'm on chapter seven out of 26. I don't really have any strong feelings towards this book. It's just meh. Um, I feel like that might be because though I'm listening to it, I'm not actually reading it. I feel like I always get a different opinion, but I'm glad I'm listening to it and not reading it because it is in third person and I can listen to third person, but I can't read it. Like I'm trying to read one for your enemy and I, I haven't picked that book up in so long because it's third person and my brain is just like, no, I, I can't do that shit right now. I got a snack of cheese. It's right there. We're going to read Minx by Sophia Lark. Let's see how far I am in that book. I know I'm almost finished with it. Like, I swear I have like an hour or two. Yeah, I'm, I have 49 minutes left in this book. So let's see if I can read that before she gets up from her nap. I want to take a nap so fucking bad, but I also don't want to take a nap because then I won't sleep tonight. It's just a never ending cycle, you know, but I'm a night owl, so I love to stay up late, but I was up to like <laughs> 1 30 last night and that's just, I can't, I can't do that again. So I'm gonna eat my Cheez-Its, drink my water, and read my book, and I'll let you guys know once I'm done reading it what my thoughts are. <laughs> I feel like that is such an unattractive angle, bitch. <laughs> I just really, it's how unattractive that probably was, so. I mean, either way, you're probably gonna get my double chin. Hopefully this angle is better. Oh shit, where am I? What the fuck? Oh. Oh, I forgot they were fighting. Third act breakup, bitch. Shit annoys me. Still an unattractive angle. You know what, it is what it is. I'm, attra I'm an attractive bitch. fighting and then he showed up he said just because you're mad at me doesn't mean I stopped paying attention wow it really is just like the simple things <laughs> then he says I'm always gonna take care of you Blake like she's never had anybody in her life take care of her she grew up in a foster home her mom did give a fuck about her like dropped her off at the foster home when she was two years old so she has abandonment issues and he said I'm always gonna take care of you <laughs> oh, 
He brought a cat to the funeral. He got her a kid. Oh my god, I hope they if they name it no, I don't think they will. But if they did it'd be cute. I don't know, I'd like it. It's all black. A goddess. Usually shown as a woman with a head of a cat. Oh that's cute. I don't know how you would pronounce it. How would you pronounce that? My brain don't work very well, so I have a how to pronounce app on my phone. Hang on, hang on, hang on. S T E T. Bastard. Bastard. Yeah, I was right. Okay. Oh, look at me. I got this shit. Okay. That's cute though. I like that. No, because this man just put seven point two billion dollars in her account. What? <laughs> like, where can I find me a man like that? He said. No one's ever helped me like that. I know it's not enough, but here's every dollar I have. Oh. <laughs> Book boyfriends are unmatched. <laughs> We're at the epilogue, bitch. Okay, hang on. I'm pretty sure I need my foods here, okay? I thought that's something, but I deserved it after cleaning the whole house. I have goosebumps. He got her a library. <laughs> that's every girl's dream. Well, that's my dream, bitch. Oh my god, why is this hitting me so hard? Like, I literally have goosebumps. Normally, I'm not a fan of epilogues, but the way Sophie wrote this, like, she goes into how Minx has helped. Oh my gosh, I, like, want to tell you guys without giving it away. She goes into how Minx has helped Blake, like, heal herself, heal her trauma. Like, she needed somebody to care about her, and uh, Minx allowed her to let Ramsey take care of her, and he thought it was about control, but it was really about taking care of somebody, and I just can't. Like, I just can't, bitch. I'm, oh. Fuck. This book. <laughs> like, I just relate to Blake on a whole nother level. I'm in love. <laughs> Ramsey, I love you. Shut up. Is there? <laughs> is there about to be another mink scene? Okay, hold up, because there's a song it wants me to play. That's one thing I love about Sophia Lark's books. She just enhances your reading by adding the music. Like, I don't know about y'all, but I love listening to music when I'm reading. And sometimes it makes me so mad when I'm reading a book and they just have a playlist because I'm like, no. There are certain songs that need to be for certain points. And Sophia, she hits the motherfucking mark. And this book is unlike the rest that I've listened to. Like, it's just sexy. Like, that's all, that's the only way I can explain it. Like, oh, I love this book so much. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. This shit is so filthy. <laughs> I can't. Uh, Sophie. <laughs> Sophie Alark. Oh my god, bitch. First of all, it's about to storm here and I'm terrified of storms, so that's great. I love that. I love being a parent and having to not have fears. Anywho, <laughs> I just finished being Bitch, that was the hottest book. That book was so hot, but it was like so much more than just the spice. Like, honestly, at first I was like, this is just like all sex. Like, all they're doing is boom, boom, boom. But once you get to the epilogue and you have, you have to read the epilogue for this book, it makes so much sense. Like, I don't even know how to like explain this, but it was just like so eye-opening. Like, they helped each other break through trauma and healed each other, and that's like, all we all want in our life, right? To find somebody we love, to heal ourselves with them. Like, but John want that, and I, I ate that shit up. I was gobbling as fast as I could. Sophia Lark is literally, hands down, my favorite fucking author, and this book reminds me why. If you don't know what Minx is about, because I went in totally fucking blind, okay? I had no idea what this book was gonna be about. Somehow I missed everybody's like, I don't look when people rate books, honestly, especially like new books, because sometimes when I read other people's ratings, I'm like, I don't really want to read that book because I everybody else is like saying that book's shit. You know what I mean? So I went into this blind as fuck. Here comes the thunder. <laughs> Basically, it's about a girl named Blake and a guy named Ramsey, and Blake is an escort. Ramsey is really high up in the financial world. He's like kicking ass, taking names, like top motherfucking dog. And Blake runs, is like an escort for those people who are higher up. Okay, bitch, do you? Um, she has a lot of childhood trauma and a lot of issues within herself and that's kind of what led her to being an escort like, finally feels like she's got her life back on track she knows she's the shit and ramsey's like damn that bitch she's 
she's hot I want her like I'm gonna do whatever I can so he transfers three million dollars yeah three million into her account and he's like let me take you out and at first she's like nah like playing hard to get you know but eventually they go out they have this little fun night where she dresses up like a cat and I know what you're thinking you're probably like girl what the fuck because I'm thinking that as well but honestly like wow new fantasy unlocked <laughs> I'm just kidding but I mean honestly <laughs> and I just feel like this book is so sex positive which you don't get a lot of I just really I really love this book and I really didn't think I was going to because when she put on the cat suit and she started acting like a cat I was like whoa what the fuck and even sometimes during the finance financial things because there's like stock trading I think that's what it's called in the book and I don't know what the fuck that shit is but either way I was gobbling it up like I was like yes let me keep reading like I need to know more I'm pretty sure any man Sophia Lark has ever written is on my book boyfriend list like I'm just obsessed with them and that epilogue bitch I can't wait for my physical copy to come in um now I want to read a different another book but I'm also like, when's my kid gonna wake up? Do I wanna take a nap? I also don't think I could take a nap right now because the storm's coming in. Anywho, I need to read something else, but I don't know what I wanna read. That's the thing about reading such a good fucking book. Now you're like, what the fuck do I read next? I'm gonna go to my bedroom, pick out a book, and then we'll, we'll keep going, okay? All right, so the storm has passed. It is currently 4.46. I'm tired as fuck. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. I've literally been going since 6.44 this morning. And I didn't go to bed till almost, what was it? Like 1.30 in the morning. So I did change my clothes yet again. I just put back on the clothes I had on before. I thought I was gonna be able to take a nap before she woke up, but I didn't. So. We're just gonna raw dog it through the rest of the day. Um, we're gonna go to my mom's house for dinner because it's just me and Brittany and whatever, it's just us two. It's easier for me to go to my mom's house, get her worn out and eat dinner there because I don't wanna cook. Um, I'm not gonna bring you guys with me because I just don't, we don't really do anything besides eat and then play with all the kids and that's pretty much it. I did pick a new read, however, I am gonna read Beach Read by Emily Henry next. I'm hoping I can finish that before July starts because I gotta make my July TBR here soon and I feel like I've done really good this month like I've read a lot of books off my TBR so I want to continue this the next time you guys will see me it will probably be bedtime and I'll probably be like just crawling into bed getting ready to read so fingers crossed I don't know where I was going with this. I'm so tired. My kid don't give a fuck. She don't care. She's like, girl, let's go. What are we doing next? What are we doing next? Um, my face is also breaking out like a motherfucker. I probably won't stay up late tonight reading because I regret my choices last night. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys in a few hours. The lighting is pretty shit, but like, what do you expect? Because it's 10 o'clock at night. So we go back. We go, we go back. So we got back from my mom's a lot later than I expected to and I had to shower, do some skincare and all that jazz. You know how it is, life of a mom, it never fucking ends. Bitch, I'm surprised I'm still fucking kicking. I just have George Lopez going on in the background. He's my comfort show, I don't know why. I don't have the answers, okay? I'm fucking exhausted, so I don't know how long I'm gonna read for. I'm gonna read Beach Read. This is the first time I've ever read it. I've read a Emily Henry book before, but it was People We Meet on Vacation. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't a fan. I mean, when I first started reading, I was like, wow, that book was so good. It was so cute. But it was a mega slow burn. And the reason they weren't friends or whatever they were was really stupid. And honestly, it just wasn't for me. But a lot of people fucking love this one. So I'm excited. I literally bought this last summer, but it was like towards the end of summer and we were getting into fall. So I didn't want to read like a summertime romance. You know what I'm saying? So I saved it for this summer and I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and get into this. A lot of people say they love Augustus. I think that's his name. I'm in my PJs too, so don't judge. It's like we're having a sleepover. It's like we're besties. Okay, first of all, I've literally just read the first page and why do I feel like this book is attacking me? Like, I feel like this is about to change my life. I got trauma that I can't let go of and I feel like this book is about to attack me in more ways than one. Shut the fuck up. It just started raining. 
this song called Paper House was playing while she was going through the lake house. The vibes are immaculate. Oh my god, I'm thriving. I'm living. I'm thriving. Okay, so I'm only on page eight, but I'm obs So I'm gonna go read. I'm gonna check back in when I go to bed. But so far, like, I'm loving it, and I'm really only eight pages in, but it has my attention. I'm here. I'm ready. Let's go. It's 11.19. I fucking pooped. Okay, I was gonna try to read till 11.30, but I can barely keep my eyes open. I deserve some sleep, okay? I worked hard today, and I didn't even get a nap. I am on page 36, chapter 4. She just figured out that who her neighbor is, you know. If you read the book, you know. So far, I am really enjoying this, but I do feel like I'm just reading and nothing's going on inside my head because I am so damn tired at this point. So I think I'm going to call it a night. I just want to say thank you so much for spending the day with me. Honestly, today was a good fucking productive day. I really enjoyed filming this little reading vlog slash productive day with me. Hopefully the next reading vlog I post will be more of me reading. Because <laughs> this was a lot of me like cleaning and getting shit done. But like that's my everyday life. I'm a mom. I don't get to just like, you know, sit and read all day. I wish I could. I really had a lot of fun filming this. I promise I will do more reading vlogs in the future and it will be a lot more of me reading. Um, if you want to see what my opinion is on this book, be sure to subscribe so you can know when my June reading wrap up, wow words are really hard right now, comes out. And you can know what my thoughts and opinions and what I rated it are because um, I'll definitely be doing a June reading wrap up. I'm really excited just in general about life right now i'm so tired what the fuck what am i saying i don't know i don't know i'm delusional right now um yeah just make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see what i post next i have a lot of video ideas brewing in my little brain so make sure you stay tuned don't forget to give this video a thumbs up leave a comment down below you're always welcome to here this is a safe space okay I'm tired and I'm, I'm so crazy right now. I just want to go to bed. I really hope my kid doesn't wake up at 6 in the morning tomorrow. If she does, <laughs> I'm running away. I'm taking a week's vacation if she does. <laughs> okay, bye.